O blood type actually looks like it's protective. It's not a huge increase in protectivity, but it's nine to 18% less likely to, to be infected and be severe. So it's an important step. And I want to emphasize like there's more research to be found here, which is part of the reason why we're still enrolling people in this study. We are offered, you know, for over, we're giving away 10,000 kits for anybody who has been hospitalized, who had COVID-19, in part because I really believe we have the potential to find, you know, genetic associations that will help us know who's the most vulnerable and then can we do more to potentially protect those people.